himself handy. Lakers assistant coach. Get him to practice. And then work the magic from there. For so long. He's a mismatch. Right, man. for the NBA draft. Of course, he's here. From what I understand, too, without dropping names, there are some high-level conversations already about next season. Oh, hello. Marshall tips it in. going to leave everyone hanging. Yeah, yeah. Can't reveal that. Yeah. I'll give a call to our good friend, Phil Handy, Lakers assistant coach. Get him to practice. And then work the magic from there. Touch from some good passes in back to back possessions. First was Mitch McCarran to Kai Soto, just like that, pretty much. Just a different part of the floor. And there's Daniel Johnson. They're going to count that as a offensive goaltending, it looks like. So the points are going to count. There's a foul as well. Daniel Johnson. Let's have another look. DJ having a good one. Nine points. Make that 10. Oh, well, no doubt. When he's won two of their last go. 11, Soto foul. Yeah, that's been a tough season then again. I was high on the preseason, the roster they put together. A lot of that was banking on Isaac Humphreys being fully sure. healthy like he was last season. Absolutely balling out on both ends last season oh. and then had to deal with that injury. Just thought, and obviously, a lot of the unknowns when teams sign yeah. imports, what's yep. going to happen, but a lot of it was penned around Isaac Humphreys, which as it should be, that was right. Everyone was thinking, okay, you got Mitch McCarron to go alongside in a one two punch, you got Daniel Johnson who can score the ball. Put a couple of shooters around, and this, this team will be all right. Well, they, to be fair to them, that's what they were they they, Their imports are shooters. It just hasn't Hadn't come hit. off, unfortunately. Good Cam Besto was. They've got some big decisions to make. CJ Bruton will get his first off. Marshall had Soto worked hard up ahead. Drew the foul on Lou. But you spot on, especially, I'm not sure what his plans are, but to be in Adelaide still and to, to still have that connection with the coach who's right there to be able to help, you still do some bit of work out with the six years. You get the one you just look forward to, to what happens next year. Come back, exactly, what, what do you want to work on? And then if you see CJ Bruton or coach of staff at Adelaide, you get to really watch him up close every day. So you normally you try and say, look, Mitch McCarron, hey, we'll be he's got that three-year deal. Can you play alongside him or someone, but he will be heading up north in the off-season. Kaisato's on a two-year deal with an option, exactly of a, right. option of a third. I guess it's a question of whether he stays or heads back to the Philippines for a little bit. Sure to be a hero's welcome. If he does return to the Philippines, it always is. Johnson, only player in the game in double figures. 10 points on three of seven. McCarran, late in the clock, gets creative. Tough finish. What the foul to go with it. Nice one-on-one -on -one take by Mitch. McCarran this time. Yes. Feel really good. Mitch McCarran, 13 points now, five of seven. From the when these two teams get together, there's very little that separates them. Four-point game in round 11. One-point game in round 18. At halftime in round 19, it's 41 each. It was a big fight back for both teams where it looked like each was going to get on a little run. Some shining lights on both sides, which we carry for the Adelaide 36ers. He's been playing really well. With his 13 points.